Unfortunately, most of them don't live extended lives. Uh, and I, I, there's, there's, there's actually clinical reasons for that that nobody ever talks about. In fact, I tried to write an article about that for a bodybuilding magazine called Iron Man years ago. And it was rejected because it was such, a, they considered such a negative article that it would, but it was scientifically true. In other words, my article, if, I don't know if you're familiar with, with some of the biochemistry, it's centered around stimulating mammalian target of rapamycin. mTOR. They call it now mechanistic target of rapamycin. Or they changed it. I noticed that, yeah. Right. right. And, and my, my theory at the time, we're going back, this is like 20 years ago before anyone ever said this. I just looked at the pathways and, and I, I noticed that uh, as in animals, when mTOR goes up with age, there's an imbalance between mTOR and another substance called uh, AMPK. Uh, and when, when mTOR goes up, it seems to stimulate aging processes in the cell. It seemed to sim stimulate cardiovascular disease and cancer, which were the two uh, major killers. So my article, which was strictly hypothetical at the time, I theorized that unless bodybuilders do something to offset the, the increase, and, and remember, bodybuilders do things to stimulate mTOR much more than normal. They take leucine, amino acids, they exercise, high protein, all these things stimulate mTOR, and the mTOR goes up anyway with age. And my theory was that bodybuilders were going to prematurely die because of this constant stimulation of mTOR. And I suggested at the time, I really wasn't sure. I only knew at the time that exercise would stimulate AMPK. So my article mm -hmm. suggested that bodybuilders always ensure they do aerobics because a lot of us don't like to do any kind of, you know, they think it reduces muscle size, prevents muscle gain. And I knew even then that aerobics does stimulate AMPK. What I didn't know at the time, but found out later, was there's a drug called metformin, which also stimulates AMPK and can also actually block the mTOR effect. It can completely, you know, in other words, if you balance out metformin with exercise and protein intake, you don't have to suffer the consequences of elevated mTOR with age. So, uh, so basically, I, well, to make a long story short, I think that the bodybuilders today because of the addition of drugs that were not common years ago, such as insulin and uh, an addition and huge amounts of growth hormone uh, and, and much greater steroid use, uh, I would be very surprised if these guys made it to even Arnold's age, even the 70s. I'd be very, you know, the only hope they have, well, I was going to say the only hope they have is, is to retire and get off the drugs. Unfortunately for them, the more recent studies show that uh, consistently going on, on consistently going on high dose steroid cycles and getting off like they do. You know, they go on huge amounts of steroids or drugs before a contest, then get off. Hopefully, allow their body to regenerate. Unfortunately, doing this year after year causes structural changes in the heart, which predispose them to congestive heart failure past a certain age. So, a lot of these guys, I, and I hope I'm wrong, and they also have increased calcium deposits in the coronary arteries. Uh, there was a study uh, shown where they, uh, uh, they actually tested 14 uh, professional bodybuilders and 12 of them showed increased coronary car calcium artery scores, yet, only, yet none of them at the time had any cardiac symptoms. They had no symptoms, but they already were laying down a pretty good amount of calcium. In the heart. That doesn't, for, uh, that doesn't uh, uh, bode well. Bode well, that's the way, exactly what I was looking for. That doesn't bode well the future heart health or longevity. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Jerry, I love what you just said, and my audience will really relate to it. I, I call this the growth longevity trade-off, the trade-off between the nutrient sensing AMP right. kinase pathway and the mTOR, which is the major growth pathway of the body. But you did this too. You talked about this, I guess, two decades before anyone was really talking about it, which is unbelievable. Uh, Unfortunately, the article was never published because, I, I mean, looking back, I guess you would call it a negative. I was basically saying if you engage in bodybuilding, exactly. even if you don't steroids, if you engage in bodybuilding, eat a lot of protein, eventually it's going to, it's going to short circuit your longevity. You're going to probably exactly. die much younger than you can do that. And, you know, they, you know, because it was a bodybuilding magazine, they thought it was inappropriate and it was never used. But <laughs>